What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today's video is teaching you guys everything you need to know about the Lily of the Valley, more commonly known as Jacob's Ladder. This plant is super rare and of course seeks a very high value in the trading market. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already take a look on my channel for the ultimate hybrid guide where I showcase all the different recipes to get hybrid flowers, you need to go check, uh, check it out. It's awesome. There's a lot of things going on on it and so much information. So watch that so you guys are a little bit more familiar with how hybrids grow and you guys can understand the later portion of this video. And plus, we got over 16,000 likes in that video. That is amazing. Mind blowing. All right. So here's how this video is going to be shaped out. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to get the Lily of the Valley. Next up is we're going to test and or myth bust whether or not super breeding is a real thing. And of course, the last thing is going to give you guys the full on 30 day experiment of actually breeding with the Jacob's Ladders. So it's gonna be really fun. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. So here we go. Uh, what exactly is a Jacob's Ladder, you may be wondering? Well, it's a, it's a pretty cool looking plant. It's available when you hit five stars on your town. So the five star rating on your town is gonna be really, really hard to do. And it does take many, many hours to go through and plant the correct amount of trees, planting the correct amount of flowers. You know, talking to all your villagers, building all your fences, but the long and short of it is go over to your town hall. Once you have the town hall available, you can talk to Isabel, and then she's going to give you the island evaluations option. So simply put, sit on over here, talk to her, and then she's going to give you little hints on what you need to do in order to improve your town. Very simple. You can talk to her over here. Let's talk island evals. And then she's going to give you the whole rundown. She's going to say that, hey, you know, you've got too much trash on the floor. There's not enough trees. There's too many trees. There's not enough plants. All of that stuff. So anyway, once you get the five star rating of your town, you'll be able to start spawning Jacob's Ladders. Now, these things are pretty hardy. I like them a lot. And uh, I will put one right over here just to show you guys how hardy these bad boys are. So... Putting a Jacob's Ladder right inside the spot, you can plant it anywhere you want. The beauty about these things is that they're invincible. So it's like a trophy flower. You can run through this thing all day and it's never going to lose its leaves, which is crazy cool. And unfortunately in this version of Animal Crossing, you're not able to pick it either. So you can't press the A button, you can't press the Y button, you can't pick anything and you can't wear it. So there's definitely uh, not any DIY recipes like a Jacob's Ladder crown or a Lily of the Valley wreath or anything like that. There's nothing like that that I've seen. But nonetheless, it's more of a trophy that you get if you have a five-star town. Now, the only way that these are gonna spawn is once per every seven days logged in. That means if you guys are playing traditionally, you're going to start your game, load up your save file, save and quit, and as another day passes, as long as there's seven days that pass, one will randomly sprout up in the ground on a cliff somewhere in your town. Now it doesn't have to be seven days in a row. It's not consecutive, so don't worry if you miss a day. It's just every seven days. Now, those of you guys on a more customized approach, you can indeed click, um, you know, minus, save and quit, change your day to the very next day, and then log in really quick, save and quit again, rinse and repeat seven times, and then take a look out on your cliffs in order to see one of these guys to come on board. Now you can't uh, use a customized approach to skip days in bulk. You have to actually log in every single time. You can't just go April 10th, and then I'm gonna skip over to April 17th. That's not how it works. So yeah, you'll be, that'll count as one day. Anyway, so that's exactly how you get that. Um, another thing about Jacob's Ladders is that they don't breed. You cannot put two Jacob's Ladders next to each other and expect them to grow. And I have not seen any different colorations of these guys. Typically they are just the white right now. Okay, so now I made a video not too long ago uh, showcasing a little thing called super breeding. And I had a claim from a site, and I'll put the site on screen over here. And it's pretty much, if you just type in Jacob's Ladder into the search bar, you'll be able to find the Animal Crossing wiki over here. Now, one of the things that I want to strive on is I only wanna be talking about facts, 100% factual evidence. 
can confirm. You guys hear me talk about that all the time in my videos. I don't want to spread misinformation. So a video that I made earlier was claiming that the Jacob's Ladder will allow you for even more hybrids. I'm going to read this on screen. It says, this flower does not breed when planted next to other Jacob's Ladders or other flowers, though it does increase the chance of breeding other flowers when planted next to them. Now, when I read that online, I said, dude, that's awesome. I'm really, really big on hybrid flowers. So let's test this out. So we grabbed a whole bunch of hybrid flowers and in my video, I showcase watering them with these Jacob's Ladders all in there. The thing that I didn't do for science was actually put a control variable right inside, um, which is going to be an area that doesn't have the Jacob's Ladders. So is super breeding a thing? Well, here we go. I'm gonna set the stage for you guys and you're gonna make the decision on your own. As of right now, this is exactly what the Jacob's Ladder plot looks like. If you guys can take a look, there's 16 spaces for potential hybrids to grow. And that means that if you have a plot that's on top, it potentially has 17 spaces because you're going to get rid of this middle one. Now, is that a fair assumption if we were to make it one-on-one, -on -one, 17 plots versus 16 plots? Well, we're gonna keep that in mind as we do our experiment. And everything, any kind of hybrid that grows in the middle there, we're gonna put it off to the side so that you guys can pretty much say, hey, you know what, out of all these different plots here, we had a sum of the non-hybrid, non-Jacob's Ladders, which is gonna be the Rossetti, um, plus all of the middle growing ones versus the Jacob's Ladder amount right over here. So we're gonna do this for 30 days. And yes, it's going to take a long time and I'm gonna fast forward through all of this stuff as fast as possible. But you guys will get some pretty cool music to listen to while you see it. So again, what we're gonna do is we are going to put a couple of fences on the other side over there and all the hybrids are gonna be tallied up on one side and we'll see exactly who's gonna come out to be the winner. And then I wanna hear from you guys at the end. Do we think it's unconfirmed? Do we think it's debunked? Or is there a little bit of truth to it? Find out.
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I even went off screen and off recording and did a couple more days just to see what it would be like. And the answers are going to be the exact same thing. So what do you guys think? The ball's in your court. I threw 30 days on there and it turned out to be almost the exact same thing. The Team Mr. Assetti non Lily of the Valley ended up getting six additional ones just due to the fact that, had, that they had one more breeding space. Whereas the Lily of the Valley ended up getting 38. It's, it's crazy. And I swear if I see another hybrid plant after this video, I'm gonna lose it. I've been spending hours editing this and just doing it for science. So the moral of the story is don't believe everything you read on the internet unless there's actual scientific claims behind it and they show the reasoning of how it happened. That's the only answer that you guys should be getting. Just saying. So anyway, take it as you will. Conduct your own experiments in the comment section below, but of course back them with pictures or it didn't happen. But as of right now, I'm gonna say the myth is indeed busted. Just because it happened in Animal Crossing New Leaf or the other Animal Crossing games does not necessarily mean they programmed it in this game. Now, is there going to be an update in the future for this? I would certainly hope so. This is my love letter to Nintendo saying, yo, can we actually make this a thing? Can we make Jacob's Ladder breeding or super breeding? a possibility within the next patch? Do you think that this is an oversight? That maybe they just forgot to program it, like they forgot to program hundreds of things into the game. I'm looking at you fish bait and manila clams. But anyway, I digress. That's gonna be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if this video helped you out and taught you something new about Jacob's Ladders, or the Lilies of the Valley, by all means, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Looking forward to your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys wanna conduct any other experiments on your end, feel free to do so. Maybe drop a singular plant with four Jacob's Ladders on each cardinal direction and then water it to see exactly if you're going to get even more hybrids. I don't know, but I'm gonna put the ball in your court for that one. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, continue subscribing. We're almost at 700,000, you guys are amazing. Uh, click right over here to join the channel and you guys can also join our Discord, discord.gg slash Abdallah. You guys can continue to talk about all sorts of flowers and Jacob's Ladders and Lilies of the Valley if you guys want to. Feel free, it's awesome. But um, yeah, I kinda don't even want, I'm gonna like pu purposely put trash in my town so that I don't have a five star anymore, so that they don't that they don't grow. I'm just I'm done with them. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.